Let's get it. It's Tony Evans Jr. here, Tino Sports Media, Tigo TV. I'm with my big bro, the owner, superstar player of the Las Vegas Royal, Dominique Watson. Appreciate you Probably getting on man. with us, bros. So before we get into the games that's been occurring, we pulled up some old footage from my man Sino, and he didn't know you had to, I had to show him you had to bounce like that. When are we gonna see that in the season? I know you. I know you got the dot coming out. Not done yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So most definitely. Uh, I was. I was gonna pull it out this past weekend, man. Uh, I got hurt in practice Friday. Messed up my back, so you know it was kind of, kind of iffy if I wanted to do it or not. Yeah. But uh, our next home game, I got it, man. I'm gonna I'm I'm get a crowd a little show. We got it here. He he got to put on his show. I know he's a yeah. man of his word. Um, yeah, next home. I know game. this past weekend, so you guys had the Pharaohs. Mm -hmm. I know that was a big game for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We talk all the time, and I know that. You know, one thing I think you pride yourself on with your team, you had the longest run at any ABA team here in the city, and you want that crown. And you felt like, you know, another team was coming for it, and you showed out. You had yeah, 29 points in that game, lead score. You know, your team got the victory. How important was that game for you personally, outside of ownership, outside of, you know, anything else, you know, personally, you know, out of, out of team aspect, how big was that win for you personally on Sunday? Man, that game was, it was important. It, it wasn't, it wasn't a personal game, like for, for, for it to be personal between us and the other guys. It was just, it was just to show them that the vets is who to be, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of them guys played on our team last season and, uh, you know, they switched over on us and, you know, they felt leaving the team is gonna, you know, help them, you know, beat the team yeah. that's been here, you know what I'm saying? So we just basically had to show them that, you know, the vets are still here and we wanted more than, you know, anybody else, you know, including any team in Vegas. We wanted more than anybody. Mm -hmm. So a couple of those guys, Mac, Mac May, my man John, they was on the team last year. Um, you think that's adding to the rivalry between you two teams? The fact that you guys got former players on that team. The fact that, you know, there was some trash talk on Facebook. You know, I saw a post where they were like, oh, we the best team in Vegas. And then, you know, guys coming back like, how y'all the best team and y'all ain't done? So talk more about that, you know, on social media and how that kind of sparked more energy to the game. And then, like, the fact that guys are playing on the other team, has that added to a rivalry? Is there a rivalry to you? What do you say about uh, that? Um, honestly, it's not a rivalry anymore. Uh, you know, like uh, nobody know, but you know, a lot of them guys they quit last game. So, you know, it's honestly, um, you know, this this is no cockiness for you know for me or you know my team. But there's there's they have no shot next time we play. They have no shot. You know, I'm saying it in the cameras. They have no shot. I'm gonna be real. It's no you know, shot. So, they uh, saying so. Pete this in the streets. They saying, you know, I mean, they got if Jared plays. If you don't get hurt, they said they would have beat y'all. Nah, Jared, for one, one one person can't beat a team in 12. You know, you play basketball, you know, you know, Sino so play basketball, we all play basketball. One person can't beat a team in 12. At one point, he was gonna shoot them out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was a strategy yeah, that I mean, let, Coach Anderson talked about Jared, that earlier. Jared, Jared, let Jared do whatever he's gonna do. He's gonna wear himself out, he's gonna shoot them out the game. And once he shoot them out the game, we're gonna take over, we're gonna win. We had to leave with Jared in the game, and we had to leave with him out of the game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it don't matter what they say, it don't matter what the Hawks say. The next time we play, hey man, we lace up our shoes just like y'all lace up y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at, at the end of the day, we're gonna see what the end of the you know what the end score is gonna be. We should have blown them out, even with the players they had. We should have blown them out. But we didn't play Royals basketball, and the game was close. We beat them by what, eight, nine? Something like that, five, I don't know. But we still won. We still 3-0, and, oh, and we ranked 14 in eight. I wanted to get to that. So um, I'm not sure what the highest ranking you guys have ever had has been. But, I mean, you guys are number 14 right now. You guys are 3-0. and oh. I think you guys are the, I mean, obviously you're the best team in Vegas record-wise. And, with, I mean, you've proved it. You've beaten both teams in Vegas. Um, how does that feel for you as an owner? I mean, this is something that I've gradually seen you build throughout the years, and now you got a different place than you were three years ago, which is commendable. So, how does that make you feel on the ownership side to see your team where it is right now? Man, honestly, uh, to see to see the growth of the team, uh, it's, it's been amazing. You know, uh, 
coach of all the teams in Vegas, that we had in Vegas. No team has ever been ranked. No team has ever been 3 0. You know, to start off the season. So, you know, when I started to take over, you remember playing against us with the Jokers. You know, we wasn't, we wasn't as talented as we are now. You know what I'm saying? So, just building the team, with me taking over and building the team with the athletes that I know we have right now. You know, we got a couple guys that's been with me for the last three seasons, you know what I'm saying? And they know how it is from coming from the bottom to where we're at now. And honestly, the rankings, the rankings doesn't mean nothing until we win the championship. You know what I'm saying? The rankings is just a ranking showing that we're the top team in our city, but we're also a top team in the league. But the rankings don't mean nothing until we win the championship. No team in Vegas, like I said, has ever won a championship or has ever been ranked or had a winning record. We do, you know what I'm saying? So honestly it feels it feels amazing, man. Like it's it's a blessing to have the, the group of guys that we got. And like I'm I'm actually I'm I'm thrilled to see where we go for the rest of the season. That's what's up, that's what's up. November 30th is the rematch. Yeah. You said they stand no chance. No chance, that's the that's that's they <laughs> that's what they think. <laughs> they no got chance. a chance. When, when's, when you guys got the Hawks again? Oh, uh, we play the Hawks. Are they are they competition at all? I know how you, I know how you feel about the Hawks. Man, look, what, are, what, what if, who are the, who are do they even present a threat at all? Look, dude? man, look. First we're gonna say the Pharaoh. November thirtieth, cool. I'm ready for that. You know, we ready for that. You know, this ain't, this is never an I and team. You know, what I'm saying we're ready for that. Uh, the Pharaoh was good competition. You know, from last game. Um, losing the players, they, they lost. No, no chance. No chance. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Hawks never been a competition. I mean, they had, you know, they had a good run. You know, uh, two seasons ago when they picked up, you know, the top players like Luke Adams, you know, Pialis, Danette, you know, Darius uh, Stewart, you know, D. Stu, yeah. you know, they, Mike Elliott. You know, they had a good run with that group, but. Um, yeah, that, that'll never happen again. Never, nothing, never. Nothing. And like I said, it's not being cocky. It's just, I got faith in my team, and I know how hard they want it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been saying it all summer. This season is important to you, you know what I'm saying? We, we went to the Final Four last season, lost in a tough game, and honestly, we know we know what it feels like to, to get there and, you know, fall short. So what we don't want to do this season is fall short. ABA championship this year. Man, that's what that's the goal, man. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's, the goal. that's what's up, man. It's Tony Edwards Jr. Tino Sports Media, Tigo TV. Can I get a shout out to Don't Cino? Don't be watching, Tigo man. TV. Shout out to Cino, man. That's my boy, man. Uh, Cino Sports Media, man. Las Vegas Unknown, Las Vegas Warriors. We in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, big bro. Oh, yeah, no problem.